everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on Page, and today I'm doing a video I have wanted to do for over a year. I first saw it over at um, Perpetual Page's channel, and ever since then I knew I had to do it. And that video is A to Z, the queer lit A to Z. Now you have to find, you have to match up books two letters of the alphabet, so either in the author's name or in the book title itself. I cheated and even uses the series title name. Um, has to fit that letter. Now I know Adriana has already done this twice, as well as Cece over at Problems of a Book Nerd and The Boy Who Cried Wolf, and I will link all their videos down below. Now all the books on my list are books I have personally read, so they're not books that are on my TBR, they're not just books I've heard about, I've actually physically read them. That is not to say that I've loved every single one. They are just books that I think should, people should be aware of, whether they're, they have good and bad. This list is by no means comprehensive. After watching Adriana's two, chan um, Adriana's two videos, pro CC's, as well as A Boy Who Cried Wolf, I'm pretty sure there is very little overlap between all of their videos and mine, which means you're basically getting over 100 books of queer lit. Now I do want to let you know there are were a few letters I could not find books for and I just kind of used it to put another book in its place instead of leaving it blank. There's also only one author I duplicated um, and that is because the two series I'm using I feel like are completely different from each other and have a very different feel so I felt like it was I felt like it was okay to use because they are completely different genres and even formats. Now, let's get started. A. Single Malt from the series Agents Irish and Whiskey by Layla Rain. Synopsis. After a car accident and eight months off, FBI agent Aiden Talley is returning to work. He was in a new department and has a new partner, Agent Jameson Walker. Together they have to figure out a new cyber threat. B is Bingo Love by T. Franklin, a story about a same-sex romance that spans over 60 years. A church bingo brings Hazel Johnson and Mari McCray together in 1963. C is Criminal Intention series by Cole McCade. Detective Malcolm Kalaji is forced to work with a detective new to Boston Police Department, Zhang Jae Yoon. While Malcolm may be willing to bend rules, Zhang Jae is by the book. They must get over their differences to solve the cases that come across their desks. D is for Splintered by S. J. D. Peterson. A string of mur murders targeting gay men has the LGBTQIA community of Chicago on alert. But due to budget cuts and homophobia in the law enforcement means FBI Special Agent Todd Hutchinson is called. Todd's clues lead him to Noah Walker, but he may be a target and not the suspect. E is The High King's Golden Tongue by Megan Durr. Prince Allen has trained his entire life to follow and hit the footsteps of his illustrious mother, and the last few years has been spent training to be the High King's new consort. Except Prince Alan is apparently not what the High King wants in a consort. F is for Fence by C.S. Picot. Nicholas Cox, the illegitimate son of a retired fencing champion, is determined to prove himself in the world of competitive fighting. After getting accepted into the prodigious King's Row private school, he is thrust into a cutthroat world. Really, Wally? Come on! G is for The Good Thief by James Buchanan. Caesar Serrano thought he screwed up when he landed in the bed of LAPD officer Nathan Riley. But when Caesar breaks into the wrong house and finds a horrendous crime implicating a high-ranking LAPD officer, Officer Nathan Riley is the only one he can reach out to. H is for A Study in Honor by Claire O'Dell. It's a Sherlock Holmes retelling set in the future. Follows Janet Watson as she is medically discharged from the army 
which is fighting the new Civil War. After returning to Washington, D.C., she is introduced to Sarah Holmes, and her life is changed. I is for Nor, Nor Iron Bars a Cage by Kaje Harper. A sorcerer who has walled himself from the world to protect himself emotionally and physically from the people, ghosts, and specters both real and imagined. And a summons from the king forces him out of hiding. L is for Lumberjanes by Noel Stevenson. By Noel Stevenson. In a story about friendship, Joe, April, Mal, Molly, and Ripley are five rad, butt-kicking friends who are determined to have an awesome summer. And they aren't going to let a magical quest or an array of, spec of su supernatural critters get in the way of that. K. This is kind of an epic love story by Kieran Callender. Nathan Bird does not believe in happy endings. But his best friend turned girlfriend turned best friend again. Florence is set on making sure he finds someone. The Nathan's old best friend, Oliver James Hernandez, comes back into town. L is for the last Harold Mage series by Mercedes Lackey. Daniel feels like he doesn't fit in with his backcountry noble family and has dreams of becoming a bard. And in In a fit to get him shaped up, his father sends him away to his herald mage Aunt Saville. Through a horrendous accident, Vaniel gains access to both his herald and mage magics, but Vaniel doesn't want the warrior's life. M is for Caroline's Heart by Austin Chant. Yes, there is not an M anywhere in the title or author's name. Cicely lost her soulmate years ago, leaving her with nothing but the clockwork heart that once beat in Caroline's chest. They say it's impossible to bring back the dead, but Cicely's spell to do just that is almost complete. But when a cowboy she barely knows is fatally injured, the only way to save him is Caroline's heart. N is for the Night Runner series by Lynn Fuelling. When young Alec of Carrie is taken prisoner for a crime he didn't commit, he is certain his life is over. But he was not expecting his cellmate, Sarah Gill of Rimini. Spy, rogue, thief, and noble, Sarah Gill is anything but predictable. After a perilous journey, Sarah Gull decides to take Alec as an apprentice, opening worlds he never knew were possible. O is for Openly Straight by Bill Koningsberg. Raph is an openly gay kid from Boulder, Colorado, but Raph is sick of being known as the gay kid. So when he transfers to an all-boys school, Decides he isn't going to discuss his sexuality, but the world has different ideas. And this one is my only duplicate author. P is for Captive Prince by C.S. Picot. Damon is a hero to his people and rightful heir to the throne. But when his half-brother seizes power... But when his half-brother seizes power and the throne, Damon is stripped of his identity and power and sold into slavery to, the enem to his enemy nation. Damon must navigate the politics in a nation completely opposite of his own while keeping his identity a secret. Lambs Can Always Become Lions by Charlotte Ann Hamilton. Robin Hood, along with her friends, have been aiding Nottingham for the past four years. Helping Robin from the inside is Lady Marion. After hearing about a special shipment coming through Sherwood, Marion agrees to help Robin gather information, but as the shipment draws closer, Robin has to make a decision, love or duty. This is not the real cover. For R, I have the Kate Martinelli series by Lori R. King. Detective Kate Martinelli has just been promoted to homicide and partnered with a seasoned detective who just isn't happy to be paired with a green partner. The, ca the case they have is difficult. They must investigate a string of child murders, but the more they discover about the case, the more complicated it becomes. S is for The Shadow of the Templar series by M. Chandler. Simon Drake is an up-and-coming young FBI agent. Not yet 30, he's the leader of his own special ops team. 
Simon Drake has also decided to pit his team against one of the best art thieves in the world. T is Bone to Pick by T. A. Moore. After growing up in the shadow of his missing brother, a deadbeat dad, and criminal stepfather, Cloyster Witt would rather leave the past back in Montana. As a canine officer, he specializes in finding the missing and bringing them back. For his most recent case, Cloyster is forced to work with FBI agent Javi Merlot. U is for check, please. Hashtag, Holly, hashtag Hockey Volume 1 by Ngozi Yukazu. Eric Biddle, also known as Biddy, is a former junior figure skating champion, vlogger, and amateur pat- patisserie. He is starting his freshman year playing hockey at Sw- Samwell University in Massachusetts. But college hockey is different than club hockey. There's checking. V is for Kim and Kim by Madeline Visaggio and Ava Cabrera. Kim and Kim are 20 somethings besties or Kim and Kim are 20 something besties making a name for themselves in the wild world of interdimensional cowboy law enforcement. W is for Running with Lions by Julian Winters. Sebastian Hughes should be excited about his senior year, but when his estranged childhood best friend, Imar Shah, shows up to the summer training camp, Sebastian realizes the fate of his team may end up in the hands of a guy who hates him. X is for the Cut and Run series by Abigail Rowe and Madeline Urban. FBI Special Agent Tyler Grady is paired up with FBI Sp- Agent, paired up with FBI Special Agent Zane Garrett to solve a case that has killed two of their own. While they are complete opposites, they actually work well together, and they need to rely on that as they get deeper in the case because they become the next targets. Y is for Yellow by Makato Tatenyo. Decidedly straight talky partners with Definitely Gay Go to form an expert team of thieves hired by the police to retrieve things from the mafia. But the case leads, but soon the case leads to Taki's kidnapping. And last but not least, X is for Corpies by Drew Hayes. Owen Daniels was a superhero named Titan, and after 10 years of being away, he has decided to return to being an active superhero. But because of the scandal he left behind, he doesn't get the warmest reception upon returning. And the only team that will t- and the only team that will take him is is as a hero liaison.